there, I'm Laurie Ferlita of Imaginary Trips and I want to talk to you today about getting out on location just a little bit. Two things really seem to make a huge difference in my actually getting out on location. One is to have a pack where I'm almost always ready to go. All I have to do is drop my stuff into my bag and I'm ready to go. And the other thing that's very important to me is traveling light because you never know how far you're going to have to drag your stuff along and of course this isn't all you have to take you need a stool and things like that so when I find a tool that replaces several tools and does as good if not better job and gives me more flexibility I get kind of excited about it and I want to share that with you today I don't know about you, but when I go out on location to sketch or to draw, paint, whatever, I like to travel light. And in the past, I have been carrying three different pens. And sometimes I have grays or some other different ink color, but I've got the Micron and then I have an 01 and an 08 so that I can get a variation of lines. And ideally, all of my tools are going to fit into this little bag, which you can see is not a real big bag. So I really was excited when I found something, a tool, that I was able to replace all three of these pins with and it gave me more flexibility with regard to the type of ink and the color that I had in the pen. This is a Duke fountain pen. I got it off from eBay and if you Google for Duke pens I think you'll find it, especially if you Google for a calligraphy nib. Now at first glance this looks just like a regular fountain pen which makes it wonderful for taking on location because you can fill any kind of ink into the reservoir that you so choose to. What makes this pen very unique is the upturn at the very tip of the nib so that you have an option of how much ink you're laying down on the page based on how much of an angle you are holding the pen at. If I hold the pen down at more of an angle as opposed to writing with it like a regular pen, I get much wider lines. If I turn it on its tip, I have the control to get very fine lines just depending on how much and at what angle I hold the pen, the pen at. This allows me to replace three pens with just one. Now, this doesn't really flex. There's not a whole lot of give and take in the actual nib. However, depending on how much you practice with it, you can get some very creative lines. You don't get railroading. You're not getting any kind of tracks with this thing. And it all comes down to uh, the angle that you lay the pin down. You can get some very super line, thick lines, and you can get some very, very fine lines. If I took this out on location and were to drop it, and break it or if I were to drop it and lose it I wouldn't be heartbroken. This is a very inexpensive pen. The fit and finish on this pen is not all that great however as a workhorse tool that I'm not afraid to take out on location this is absolutely a wonderful pen. It also comes with a regular fountain pen nib without the curvature on the tip so that if I just want to do a lot of journaling or writing it's pretty easy to change it out it does come with a converter so that you can put any kind of ink color in there that you want to. This allows me to leave the Falcons and the Pelicans and all those wonderful expensive flex nibs that I have safely tucked away in the studio. This allows me to get out on location to use this tool and to not worry about whether I'm going to break it, drop it, lose it. I have put carbon black, which is what this ink is. Um, in this pen. So far I haven't had any clogging issues. I haven't had any problems. I will say that it puts down a whole lot of ink. If you're using something that is more subtle such as the Lexington Gray by Noodlers, you may not get the the lighter colors of gray simply because this thing lays down a whole lot of ink when you are getting ready to write down your lines. This is the current journal that I am working in. We had a wonderful storm front move through here on Saturday and we got some cooler temperatures, kind of breezy. We were still expecting rain, but I decided I had to get outside and enjoy the weather before we got into the humid, hot days of summer. And created this image. It's a restaurant just down the road from here. It's the Oaks Restaurant. And 
The lines that you see were all made with the Duke pen. All of the variations that you see, the little scribbles, the little tiny lines, the grass lines, all the way up to the heavy lines in the tree and the actual writing were all created with just the one tool. So if you are serious about wanting to get out on location and you want to keep your load light so that you're not carrying any more than you absolutely have to, I strongly recommend taking a look at this pen. I think that you will find that it really revolutionizes the way you draw, the line widths that you put down. You won't be stuck with just one line width unless you take three pens with you. And it gives a stronger expression to your work. Once again, this is Laurie Ferleta. Thank you so very much for joining me.